So good morning everyone. Welcome to day two of Vlogtober. So today I'm really just gonna I have majority of this cleaned. Um yesterday I talked about, you know, like I had a my husband's family member here and I really wanted to get upstairs clean before my mother got here so majority of it is cleaned and like put away I still have like a, a little bit of like things to put I still have a little bit to do but for the most part like the major things are done and put away and I'm just kind of watering Erica you know lighting my candles I'm actually lighting one of um, the scents that I'm gonna be coming out with soon which is a bamboo coconut so I'm going to smell this and see and like light this all day. And I have another one lighting in the bathroom too. So really it's just going to be like a loose saw and really just studying. Um, I have a paper to start writing. So I want to at least get maybe the first two pages written out. Um, I need to kind of look and see like what's required of the rubric. I haven't really looked at it yet. Um, I have an email to send to my clinical um it's not coordinator but the the person that does like the clinicals at my school i need to get i need to send her an email about a situation that happened this past week i was supposed to send it a while ago but your girl's been busy and then i'm going to listen to the lecture that i have upcoming on monday so that, that lecture i want to listen to last year's lecture and kind of get a head start on it so if I don't get everything done today, I'm going to definitely finish up what I didn't do today, tomorrow. But I definitely want to just be productive all day. Sorry, I'm like trying to clean up the wax from yesterday that I did. Um, I just really want to be productive as F, like fuck today. So, yeah, today's just a chill study day. So I really hope you enjoy October day number two. I am about to make me some breakfast. I can't decide if I want like vegan chocolate chip pancakes or a vegan donut and like some coffee and like all that jazz so i guess we'll see in a minute and this bonnet is staying on all day i might i'm gonna oil my scalp but it's staying on all day so you're gonna see me bonnet game strong in this video all right guys so i just had breakfast um i am upstairs right now tripod we need a tripod I'm upstairs right now. I just got done doing one of the things that I wanted to do today, which was getting my, I needed to send that little email to my clinical instructor. So I just finished doing that. I am drinking Shop Quality, their peach turmeric chai for the fall season. This is one of my, this is honestly my favorite tea from them. And in her Vlogtober, just Chanel, by the way, in her Vlogtober day number two, she actually added um, turmeric and cracked black pepper in there. I don't have any cracked black pepper, but I added turmeric. And y'all, this shit is fire. Like, it is so good. I didn't make it with milk. If you watch her video, she makes it with milk. And then she, like, has the peach turmeric tried to sit in here. I didn't do that. I just made it with water and I used my silk soy vanilla creamer and then just kind of um, froth it in here. But this shit is so good. And this cute mug. She doesn't have this anymore. This was part of one of her collections in the springtime. But it just says laugh on it. It's super cute. But definitely go shop her site. I will leave a link down in the description box below. She currently has a fall trio right now, and she just came out with a pumpkin spice, a pumpkin spice syrup, which I definitely need to try, so I'll be using that very soon. Y'all, this candle smells so good. This bamboo coconut candle is a bomb. I'm probably going to put it in a holiday box. All right, y'all, so I'm just finally getting some work done. I'm about to start this sim that we do, so let me show y'all what the sim looks like. So I think we have to do six and seven this week. So this is what our simulation looks like that we use um, because it because we don't, of course, go to class or go, you know, have sim lab. We use this like Ansoft. Um, I really like it. Um, it's really nice to kind of see, you know, like what the different cases are. So this week we have to do case six and case seven. 
So case six is a 22 year old um, that is coming in for an appendectomy and case seven is a 67 year old that is coming in for a fem pop um, bypass. So let's walk through this case. I know you can't really see. I'm going to really try to let you. We'll do case six. So he's 22 bit anxious. Um, he's had lower abdominal pain for the last um, 12 hours. His illness is hay fever, no surgeries, no medications except for occasional um, antihistamines. His allergies is penicillin. Um, he smokes, he drinks, and cusses, I guess. Okay. But this <laughs> denies any, I don't know why that would be there. That's just weird. So I'm just about to get started on my paper. Um, really not actually like writing it yet. Just kind of finding like what the information is about. It's a two part paper. So a total of 10 pages. So the first part um, is what to do in two weeks. You're basically choosing an epidemiological basis for your program. Include demographic data on a national, state, and local level. And address health disparities and develop a social justice platform for your program. And then the second part is the design of population-based programs to reduce morbidity and mortality that incorporates appropriate behavior, social change, and program planning frameworks. So I think I want to kind of just keep with the theme that I have been choosing, which is the Black Maternal Health Crisis. Um, so I'm going to try to find some information on a local level, um, state, and count like a national level, and let's see design a program to reduce morbidity and mortality for that program on a city overall the topic so basically talk about you know the topic and then um designing a program to reduce the morbidity and mortality rate all right y'all so i'm feeling so sleepy right now like i really just don't even feel like studying but i am currently trying to yesterday i waxed myself and I got this wax on my really nice chair here. Um, I was giving myself a Brazilian and Ooh, child. it was rough, but I got through it. It's all nice and clean, but I accidentally got wax on here. So I'm trying to figure out how to get this off of here. Y'all, it is working. I'm so shocked. Oh my god. So I found on, I thought I was gonna like completely ruin this chair, but I found online you take a damp cloth and an iron and you hold it over there for 30 seconds. Oh shit, it's almost gone. Yes, it is gone, y'all. It's gone. Look, it is gone. I believe this part is still pretty sticky. I don't know if there's a way to get that off of here. But I got the bigger pieces off. I'm just like not really finding the motivation to write this paper. And I'm just so sleepy. So sleepy. Like I kind of, I just want to like take a nap. I like want to take a nap. Like a good power nap. This is just not a productive day at all it's just not productive and i'm just like exhausted i was also thinking about doing an instagram live sale so i'll go on live on my business page and you know just talk about like some new products kind of get some product ideas from y'all and kind of see you know like thinking about like what's what will be going on in the holiday season you know think new things that will be dropping and kind of getting some feedback from you all um, and then having a sale throughout the live. So that's something that I'm really, really thinking about doing because I feel like, you know, it'd be cool to kind of engage with like my followers 
and you know show some like products and stuff and how I use certain products so that would be really fun to see um so I'm really thinking about doing an Instagram live um probably I may do it I was thinking about doing it today but I may actually do it tomorrow so that is the plan now I'm eating a salad that I just made always you had a big bowl you already know the deal and then I have some vegan beyond the meat um bratwurst which is actually really good first I'm trying it and then um I have some like mule sauce and country sweet kind of mixed in so that's kind of what I'm eating right now I'm about to watch some uh oh order number two order number two today um I'm about to go ahead and watch well damn Everything's kind of falling. I'm about to go ahead and watch. You already know the haves and the have nots. Boo, this is my shit. Actually, let me see if this works for this. Because I was. This is supposed to work for the iPad, actually. That's what. It, oh, yeah. I'm about to go ahead and watch my show. What about your son? What about him? He was at Veronica's house last night. y'all so i just did my daughter's hair she's now asleep it's really 9 30 um i'm gonna go ahead and edit this video this vlog right quick but right now i'm packing orders i got a few orders this weekend so i was just gonna go ahead and get be productive and pack orders and i'm all and i'm also kind of doing like an inventory check too just to kind of see like what all I have left because I'm just not realizing I'm I ran out of a bunch of stuff especially for like my boxes and the thing about that is um the holiday season's coming up so I want to make sure that I have like a lot of the items that you know I will be selling in all of my boxes but I'm just gonna go ahead and pack these orders let me know what your ideas are with um going having like a live instagram sale i think that would be really really fun to do i have considered going live on youtube so let me know if i should do it on youtube or i should do it on instagram um let me know how y'all feel about that i definitely want to do it maybe tomorrow um or monday if not tomorrow or monday it'll have to be like next week next weekend so I don't know what the sale is going to be. Maybe you can drop some ideas and, you know, maybe we'll even throw in a 50% off, 75% off. So, yeah, I want to do like a really live sale where you just like shop while we're on live and, I sh you know, showcase a few products, show you the products that we have um, and just talk about the products. But anyways, I am so sorry this day has just really been chill and like super not productive at all. But... Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog, October number three. I promise I'm going to do something like a little bit more productive. All right. Bye, y'all.